Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You look at Dallas, still early, but they have the third best record in the conference. And, of course, the Clippers back three games. When I look at the Clippers, they wanted to get better. They're putting in the work. Maybe the results will start coming later in the year. And after talking to some of the coaches and the players, they're not happy that they couldn't start off on a little bit more of a roll. But I think they're in fine shape with the bulk of the season still to come. So here's Dallas's starting group. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Derek Jones is out there with Grant Williams. And it's Lively in at the center position. And for Los Angeles... Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court. George out there with James Harden. And it's man in at the three. And early part of the season, always fun to see those teams managing to exceed expectations, Brent. Always makes the year so much fun when you have some dark horse team start to show itself. Maybe get ahead of some of the predictions a little bit early on. The outcomes in this league, they're decided between the lines. Oh, what a nice find by Kyrie that time, balancing his offensive attack. Harden against Doncic. Left side, Harden. It's tipped. And they'll keep possession. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Coming into this, having notched to win against the Lakers in their last game. They had a lot of breaks go their way in that game. And hey, they cashed in when they could. Yeah, the last game, it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively, forcing a lot of those turnovers, and that helps build your defensive confidence. Pass to Leonard. Over Williams. Leonard, good. Why, such a threat from the mid-range. As soon as he gets to that area, it's all systems go. On the wing, Irving. Here's Doncic, and Doncic with the jam. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Now here's Harden, coming off a 16-point game against San Antonio. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at where did he also impact the game. It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. If this team's offensive catalyst, Doncic puts pressure on the defense every possession. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes. All night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc. They do it every chance they can get. down the first one. And Doncic is a walking triple-double threat. His versatility and confidence is really special. Doncic hits them both. Looks like this could be a bounce back year for the Clippers, Brent, after they were knocked out early last season. Yeah, you just shake your head and you think about this team not being healthy and how far they could go. But that's part of it, right? No PG or Kawhi late in the series. They're looking for some redemption this year, and you feel like it's their last shot. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. That one falls. Irving's got his second basket of the game. Oh, they can't miss. Four for four and warming up the burner. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And out of bounds, Dallas will have it. These teams have been lighting it up so far. The NBA's top scoring teams. In third, the Mavericks. They've been having a great season on the offensive end of the floor. It never takes this team long to put big points up on the board. Floats one. Harden with the defensive effort. 
Well, after nailing the first four shots of the game, some relief for the defense. They finally miss one. Leonard gets the bucket. And Kawhi adding a floater to his game is a nightmare scenario for any defender. Here's Doncic. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Pass to Lively. There's a screen. Here's Irving. And he sinks the 11-footer. Irving's got six points. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Now here's Leonard. 26 points for him. Last game against San Antonio. Outside for Harden. There's the triple. Lively grabs a miss. And so it's Irving who brings up the ball for Dallas. They lead by four. Off the mark there with a three. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Those 2014 NBA Finals featured tons of Hall of Famers. Tim Duncan, LeBron, D. Wade. And maybe the guy who was unintroduced but now introduced as one in Kawhi Leonard. Man, he just stole the show winning the series MVP. Did an unreal job on LeBron defensively. Shot 58% from three. What an all-time two-way performance, B.A. He misses the free throw. You know, when the Clippers first moved to L.A., people assumed they'd be second fiddle to the Lakers. Not necessarily the case. Well, B.A., to, to be honest with you, they were for a long time. And then they moved into this building. There was a bit of a shift, and the Clippers started dominating the regular season. They don't have the championship, but I'll tell you what, a powerful owner and a couple star players, that'll flip the faithful around for you. Good on the second one. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA, Grant, those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings, and the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. Now here's Irving. What a tremendous game he played against the Lakers. And here's Doncic outside. He drops it from range. Doncic has got seven points. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. There's a screen. George with it. He's picked up by Jones. George's shot is off. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. And Irving gets it to go. Another circus shot in the career of Kyrie. Sometimes it looks like he's just playing horse out there. George scanning the floor. Launches a three on target from range. Six points for him. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Williams. Now Doncic. Williams a screen on Harden. From deep, here's Doncic. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. <laughs> he still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. The Mavericks leading. Here's Irving. Give him eight points now. Jacks up a three. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter. Attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Williams against Leonard. Four three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Lively's got four rebounds in the game. Doncic outside. Outside Irving. From downtown. And the Mavericks. Another three. Uh, that's a shot that Kyrie's never going to pass up. And exactly the mindset that his team needs. On the wing, Harden. Guarded by Doncic. Zubac with a screen on Williams. George passes to Zubac. It's deflected. Outside Jones. And he lobs it up. Oh, Leonard with the block. One of the most versatile defenders in the NBA. Why Leonard getting all of that one. From deep. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Leonard's got 12. 
Uh, it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. On the wing, Irving. George defending. And they doubled up Irving. And Williams punches it home. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Now here's Harden. No made baskets yet. Leonard against Williams. Four on the clock. Got a hand on it, and he gets it back. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Here's Doncic. And he also played really well in the win against the Lakers. Pass to Lively. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Here's Leonard. Deflected. Kicks it to Doncic. This one for three. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's going to be on even to Zubats. Hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Dallas. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. That's good from Doncic. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And Dallas with a change here, too. Hardaway's checked in. Can't hit the second. And he nails the third. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. Westbrook, that's good. Well, Westbrook came off of that pick and roll with good intentions and got a good result. And Dallas calls time here. Go so for the Clippers, Tice is checked in for Zubats. Tucker comes in for Mann. And it's Powell in for James Harden. Powell, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Green comes in for Irving. Here's Doncic. He's got nine. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Westbrook with the miss. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. And it's Doncic missing. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Leonard outside. Tucker with a screen. Launches it. Pass to Tice. The three. Rebounded by Green. So it's the Mavericks now. Nine-point game. Williams with the screen. Green with the ball. Picked up by Tucker. Williams misses. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. And, yep, it's good. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. 
Doncic with it. The stats he's putting up, impressive. Averaging around 30 and a half points a game. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. They get it back. Tice. Soft touch off the glass. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Dallas, no good that time either. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Doncic deciding where to go with it. That's tipped. Powell with a steal. Pass to Leonard. It's rebounded by Dallas. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. To win the drought, Leonard pulls down the board. Leonard's got four rebounds in the game. Westbrook left side. There's a minute 12 left to play in the first quarter. Doncic pulls down the board. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. And he's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Doncic. He's got nine. Back to Hardaway. Doncic outside. Williams, a screen on Westbrook. Shot clock at six. Doncic, no good. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. There's the three. Pure from three-point range. Doncic has got 12 points in the game. Encouraging to see Doncic sink the three. Needs to keep doing this now. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Mavericks. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. through one quarter in this one and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks it's simple when you can protect the rim the way they have it's a big advantage yeah you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back and here's Westbrook Eight points in his last timeout. Powell and George are out on the wings. Then there's P.J. Tucker. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Brown in at the four-man spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Westbrook against Curry. Pass to Prosper. Hardaway on the wing. Powell right side. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. We've just seen these massive leaps from Paul George throughout his career, particularly as a playmaker. 
Irving against Powell. And here's Curry for three. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got three assists now in this one. And if you're looking for a knockdown shooter from distance, look no further than Seth Curry. Well, not many guys have hit over 40% from three for their careers. And Seth Curry is in that exclusive club. And as a huge bonus, he protects the basketball and doesn't turn it over. Here's Prosper, still without a bucket. Now Irving. Shoots over Powell. The bank shot, no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Pass to George. Tucker with a screen from behind the arc. Rebounded by Prosper. George against Hardaway. Irving up top. Powell, a screen on Brown. Irving with it. Picked up by Tucker. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Brent, you were a two-time NBA champion, so you must have the secret recipe. What wins in the playoffs? Well, Tim Duncan, B.A.? <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, you need a team. It can't be a one-man show, and you need that collective to come together and be playing their best basketball at the biggest time of the year. We've seen these heliocentric offenses, ones built around one superstar, and that becomes too predictable of an offense or one where a guy can't struggle. If they struggle, the team goes home. So championships are won by teams, B.A. Now here's Powell. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Driving to the basket, goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Well, Norman Powell is big and strong and stocky, so he gets in that gap. He's like a bowling ball. He can take a hit. Outside Irving. Outside Hardaway. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Coming into this, having knocks to win against San Antonio in their last game. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine, getting them high-quality looks time and time again. And, and talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling, keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. Now here's Irving. He's got 17. Curry finds Irving. The teardrop. The shot won't fall. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Pass to Westbrook. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. The layup off target. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. For three, Hardaway. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Hardaway's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Westbrook taking his time here. It's George on the wing. No luck on that one. For Dallas, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, absolutely an offensive focal point is Luka Doncic, a high usage rate. But he said, quote, it's basketball. This is my work. It's amazing. Every night I step on the court, it's fun for me. Brian, he loves it so much. He said in the past, quote, I couldn't live without this game. Back to you. All right, Allie, thank you. I like that hoop from Norman Powell. Shoot it close to the hoop. Forget the long range stuff. Make it easy on yourself. Irving, the pass to Powell. And Powell with the stuff. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 10. Nice shot by George. Man, he is in the zone right now on offense, guys. Building off that efficient first quarter. Here's Irving. Powell, a screen on Powell. 
Here's Irving. Another one falls for Dallas. I, I wish Kyrie sometimes would just dribble out the 24-second shot clock. It's so fun to watch him on the handle. Tucker with a screen on Curry. Westbrook, the pass to Tucker. The shot comes out. Oh, great D that time from Powell. To the inside. That one's good from Green. And the assist from Irving. And the Mavericks lead by six. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Now here's Westbrook. George for three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. I love the way they're spacing the floor this quarter. Their three-point percentage has really gone up. Pass to Green. Irving for three. They get the rebound. Powell. Kicks it out to Hardaway. The three ball counted from Two distance. Hardaway Hardaway's got six points in the quarter. He's got some growing confidence right now in the catch and shoot game, Hardaway Jr. Feels like he could score from anywhere. Inside. Westbrook, the pass to Brown. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Brown's got five points. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Sinks the tray. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Westbrook left side. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell's got six rebounds here tonight. Irving against Powell. And the Mavericks, another three. three <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. A different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Tucker. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Brown. Man, he's checked in for Paul George. And it's Harden in for Powell. Now here's Harden. Still no points. Zubats with a screen on Irving. Pass to Leonard. Over Williams. Shot by Leonard, no good. The Mavericks leading. Doncic with it. He's got 12. On the wing, Irving. Shoots over Harden. It's rebounded by Zubats. The Clippers have gone 8 of 15 in the second. Man, the pass to Harden. Here's Zubats. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Man, defended by Jones. Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Here's Westbrook. And the Clippers miss again. Dallas is shooting 55% for the game so far. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Back to Irving. Shoots over Harden. Leonard pulls down the board. Leonard's got a seventh rebound here tonight. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Tough bucket by Harden. A creative finisher near the hoop. Pass to Lively. They set the screen. Three-pointer. And it's Doncic missing. And it's Leonard with the ball for Los Angeles. They trail by seven. The law. Very well done. And Leonard, a three-level scorer, as well as an offensive anchor for this team. Irving, the pass to Doncic. On the wing, Irving. Defended by Harden. Out to the wing. Puts up a three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. I remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch. And now those big guys are everywhere. Westbrook drives. Pass to man. Back to 
Westbrook. Jacks up a three. Lively grabs the miss. Lively's got five rebounds in the game. And here is Irving. 27 points for him. Cashes it in from 11 feet. And it's a 10-point Maverick lead. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Here's Harden. Again, the Clippers score. It's impressive how Harden makes room inside. He finds a way to navigate the shots. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Minute 32 left in the first half. Yes, it's good. Irving's got 31. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Lively grabs a miss. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Now here's Doncic. He's got 12. Stolen! In transition, here come the Clippers. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic has got four rebounds now. Now Irving. He's got 31. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Five to shoot. Right wing. Here's Lively. From outside, off the mark. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And it's good for two. Westbrook's got eight points in the quarter. A defensive lapse. Can't give him that kind of position. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? Now here's Jones. No points so far. Lively. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so that brings the first half to a close. Mavericks ahead. They lead by eight. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. Not sure any run of games feel comfortable, but this might be as close as you can get. They're at home against teams that they can clearly beat. This is a great opportunity for them to stack up some Ws. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Mavericks. Defending these guys does not look fun. You just have to extend so far out to contest shots, and then they go ahead and make them anyway? Which then forces you to try to match their three-point output. Not a comfortable position to be in. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. quarters in the books. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. Hey, we didn't expect this. Not normally a big-time assist maker. He's done a great job moving the ball around. Now you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far, all of his have been on point. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. The Clippers trail. On the court right now for the Mavericks. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Grant Williams out there with Derrick Jones. And it's Lively in at the five, roaming the paint. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Wow. Zubats way up. George against Irving. Outside Jones. 
Williams from long range. Williams knocks down the three. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting at a respectable 49%. They set the pick. Harden fires away from outside. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Harden's got seven points in the game. Now, you know Harden wants to utterly own the arc. He just won't let threes go unanswered. Irving against Harden. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Shot clock at five. No good there. Ooh, nice D from George. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Six-point game. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. And that'll be their second of four total games at home. The D keyed in too much on Harden there, leaving his man wide open. Now here's Doncic. 12 points for him. Oh, Luka playing grown man ball inside. The size and strength of Doncic can go overlooked. I mean, he's more than capable of scoring there in the paint. On the wing man. Leonard up top. Again, it's the Clippers converting. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Irving. He's got 31. Here's the pick. Fires it. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And this is how explosive Irving can be. Such a clever and versatile scorer. Pass to Zubac. Back to Leonard. Over Williams. And there's Leonard on the assist by Zubac. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Dallas calls timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. And he goes in for the dunk. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Now here's Zubac. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Here's man. And Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. All alone from mid-range. You've got to think he's kicking himself. You know, when you think about Kyrie Irving's game, his ball handling is what still comes to mind first. Yeah, you know, B.A., that and his killer instinct. Kyrie is one of the most creative players we've ever seen. A guy you can count on to come through in big moments. Harden against Doncic. Now here's Harden. Seven points in the game. The shot from 20 feet out. Leonard gets the bucket. Leonard's got 26. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Doncic outside. On the wing, Irving. George defending. And there's the screen. Pulls up. And he drops that one in. Irving's gotten four this quarter. And the coach is yelling at the defense to at least get a hand up on Kyrie Irving. George, left side. Off with the layup. Dallas has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Outside Irving. Banked it in off the glass. And now an eight-point Maverick lead. Kyrie constantly beating his defenders and so good in those tight quarters with the basketball. Zubats finds Harden. Zubats with a screen on Doncic. 
Harden can't hit. The Mavericks have gone six for nine in the half. Here's Jones. And he makes it on the layup. Jones has got his second basket. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Leonard gets the bucket. Oh, man. They have really heated up from mid-range. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. And the Mavericks call time here. Start. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for man. And checking out some numbers for Luka Doncic. And his effective field goal percentage isn't in the best place right now. Over the last five games, he hasn't had much shot discipline. He'll be looking to play a lot smarter today. Now here's Doncic. 14 points for him. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. George passes to Westbrook. Leonard up top. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got four assists in the game. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Here's Lively. He has six. Yep, that one goes. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. After the trade for Kyrie Irving, the Mavericks offense went to another level. Coach Jason Kidd said, quote, we're still going to preach defense, but on the offensive end, there's going to be nights where we're scoring 130 or 140. Kai gives us another weapon. Someone is going to be free. Someone is going to have the advantage. Brian? Oh, nice stuff. Thank you, Allie. Irving for three. Knocks it down from distance. And now an 11-point Dallas lead. With the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Harden from outside. Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got five rebounds tonight. On the wing, Irving. And his general manager of the Austin Spurs. How important is the G League when it comes to player development, Brent? Well, it's, it's such a learning ground, B.A., for everybody, not just the players, but the coaching staff, the training staff, even game ops people uh, that want to put the, the proper show on for the fans that show up to see the game. But for the players specifically, it gives them great experience that they're not going to get while in the NBA sitting on a bench somewhere. They're on the floor, they're getting great coaching, and they're developing their skills every day. So that G for us stands for growth. It's got to be something else to be a teammate of Irving's. What a generational talent. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Pass to George. Leonard's got room. To end the run, and it's slammed in by Zubac. Zubac does a great job of sniffing out offensive rebounds and beats his guy to the spot. Outside Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Doncic punches it home. Come on now. This kind of powerful finish gets guys going. Yeah, especially when it's coming from your point guard. What a flush. Yeah, great read. Calls his own number and then sends it home. Pass to Leonard. George outside. Takes a three. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's five for ten now. So consistent throughout the years from deep. That's what has made Paul George very special. Doncic against Westbrook. Outside Hardaway. Jones with a screen on George. Here's Hardaway. That one a little long. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Let's it go from deep. The Mavericks pull it in. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. 
officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. You tried to guard Kyrie without fouling, and that is a challenge unto itself. So nimble with the ball in that shifty handle. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Mavericks. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. And throughout the game, the mid-range area has been their bread and butter, continuing to pull up from there with a tremendous amount of confidence. Tucker's checked in for the Clippers. Norm Powell comes in for Paul George. And Dallas with a change here, too. Powell's checked in. Both free throws good from Irving. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Harden with a bucket. And just taking what the defense gives him. It's good to see Harden knock down the mid-range jumper. Irving against Harden. Can he keep it going? And it's Irving missing. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Westbrook, the pass to Powell. Pass to Leonard. Leonard, double team. Tucker with a screen on Hardaway. Here's Powell. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Usually you see Powell operating on a drive or spot up three. That time he took advantage of a mid-range. Now here's Powell. Outside Irving. Powell sets a screen from deep. And Irving gets it to go. Irving's got 47 points. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. It's Powell on the wing. Fires it from 18. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Great shooter off that quick release. Kawhi expecting the pass and did the rest. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And the Clippers making a change here. Highlands checked in. Green's checked in for the Mavericks. Curry comes in for Kyrie Irving. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 12. Pass to Leonard. Westbrook outside. Here's Highland. Powell outside. From the wing. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got six rebounds now in the game. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. A minute 20 left in the third. And there's the lob. And he lays in the alley-oop pass. All eyes on Luka. The defense forgot about his teammates. 107 left in the third quarter. Pilot, the pass to Westbrook. Pass to Tucker. Tipped. Leonard, right side. Leonard, double team. Six to shoot. And here's Highland. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Highland's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Doncic passes to Powell. Outside, Green. The three from Curry. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Leonard's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Dwight Powell. With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. Kawhi Leonard for a free throw. Two shots. Free throw drops for Leonard. 
And in terms of two-way players, Kawhi has to be one of the guys that you would consider as one of the elites. Defensive player of the year caliber guy on the wing. And he can also carry you offensively. And Leonard drops them both. Dallas has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. And here's Doncic outside. Rebound by the Clippers. Here's Westbrook from deep three-point range. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. It's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. Stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The Mavericks leading George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with Norman Powell. And it's Tucker in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Irving. Shoots over Powell. On the mark with the 15-footer. Irving's got 49 in the game. Master from the mid-range. You just assume Irving's going to drill that shot every time. Pass to George. Launches it from deep. The offensive rebound. Tucker. Oh, great D that time from Powell. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. 11 feet out. Another one goes. Incredible. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. George outside. Over Hardaway. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And for Dallas, they're shooting a fantastic 57%. Curry, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Here's Leonard. And the Clippers miss again. The Mavericks have gone 2 of 3 to open the fourth quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Irving. Curry down to five on the shot clock. Here's Powell and Powell with the stuff. What elevation! He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three pointer he takes right now. Tice is checked in for the Clippers. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for the Mavericks. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Tyron Lue address the team, and he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide-open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. Now here's Westbrook. Tucker with a screen on Hardaway. George for three. Trails it from deep. What's the pick used for? It's used for separation. And Paul George got it there. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Powell against Irving. The 11-footer.
plenty of room around him, and it's good. Irving's got 53 points. The Clippers have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Westbrook outside. George against Hardaway. And George with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. And this is how you become a triple-double machine like Russell. You get the ball to the easy open shot. Irving, the pass to Curry. The shot from the low post is good. And the Mavericks lead by 11. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Curry against Westbrook. Pass to George. Down low. And finished off by Tice. That's the man you want running into the pick and roll. It's Paul George at the helm. He's got the ball and makes a great play. Now here's Holmes. Hardaway, the pass to Irving. Pulls up on the wing. Again! What an avalanche! And he's nearing the single-game franchise scoring record. Absolutely on fire. Already a night to remember and approaching some history. From the top of the key. And again, it's the Clippers converting. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Outside Hardaway. Curry, a screen on George. For three, Hardaway hits a three-pointer. That's one of Tim Hardaway Jr.'s favorite shots. Not just the ones that go in, but from that spot on the floor. Tucker with a screen. Here's George. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player. Brent. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night. But defensively, shutting down a team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star player in this league. And the first one at the line is good. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. The Clippers making a switch here. Harden's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. When you look at the massive hauls that have been received in the trades with Paul George, that should tell you how valuable PG is. Timeout called. The Mavericks. Williams finds Jones. Outside Irving. Shoots over Westbrook. And it's Irving missing. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Trailing by 10. Westbrook against Irving. Pass to George. 4-3. Buries it from three. George has got 27. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Jones with the ball. And here is Irving. And down it goes. Two points. Irving's got 57 points. And making the most of that inside opening. That's almost too easy for Kyrie. George outside. The three. He can't get it to go. The Mavericks have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Hardaway against Harden. 
Hardaway, the pass to Jones. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. George outside. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. That's 29 for him. Always a formidable score. George just doing what he does. Irving goes in. Count that one. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. I mean, this guy is unreal. What a show. Westbrook against Irving. And they doubled up Irving. Pass to Lively. Outside Irving. Here's Hardaway. Clock at six. Wing shot on the way. Hits yet again. Wow. Never in the history of the franchise have we seen a game like this. He's putting on a remarkable performance. It's their all-time single-game scoring record. Their fans will be reliving this game for a long time. Harden can't hit. The Mavericks leading. There's the three. That's good from Hardaway on the assist by Irving. Uh, we all know how devastating Kyrie can be scoring the basketball, but very encouraging to see how he's trying to set up his teammates as a playmaker right here. Now here's George. He gets it in there. George has got 34 points. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Here's Jones. Outside Irving. From downtown. Oh, connects again. <laughs> this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Back to George. Tucker with a screen on Williams. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Irving against Westbrook. And it's Irving missing. Los Angeles has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Tucker finds Harden. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Tim Hardaway. Yeah, so many defenders fall for the Harden fake because he's such a prolific scorer. That's good from Harden. And one of the most prolific offensive players of his era, James Harden. The Beards led the league in assist and scoring, and very few guys can say that. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for Powell, and Dallas with a change here too. Doncic is checked in for Jones. That one falls, so he hits both of them. <laughs> They've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. Irving a screen on Westbrook. Doncic on the wing, pounded by Westbrook. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, a few guys do this as easily as Harden. Driving in hard and drawing a foul while taking the shot. The line for LA, James Harden. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Irving is doubled. Williams from long range. 
Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. And the Mavericks lead by 11. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. George with it. Guarded now by Williams. George's shot is good. Came into the league when the mid-range was popular. Game shifted to three, and PG said, I could do that too. Harden against Irving. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Zubats. The Clippers running out of time. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. A master of attracting contact. Harden just takes pride in fooling defenders and getting those calls. James Harden, two shots. First one falls for him. Man, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Harden hits them both. Dallas has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Doncic against Harden. And it's Doncic missing. The Clippers trail. On the wing man. Pass to Harden. Here's George. He's guarded by Irving. Fades back. George's shot is off. The Mavericks shooting a fantastic 57%. Doncic against George. Doncic throwing his weight around. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. Here's George. That one's good. Nothing but net. George has got 38 points. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Lively. Irving for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. James Harden picks one up. Shooting for Dallas. Kyrie Irving taking three shots. He makes the first of three. And that stretches their lead to eight. And he makes the second one. And it's a nine-point game here. Makes it. And he continues to shoot well from the line. Los Angeles has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. And stolen by Hardaway. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Mavericks. Well, they were focused on being productive at the arc tonight. And it ended up paying off big time. Just an overwhelming performance. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And what a huge performance it was for Kyrie Irving. Now serving up feeds all night long. He was the best teammate that they had on the floor. That free throw good from Irving. Free throws good from Irving. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. A 12-point game. 
Mavericks with the rebound. 40 seconds left in the game. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Now here's Williams. Mavericks foul. Lively. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. And the new group getting ready for the Clippers. Tucker's checked in for Zubats. Coffey comes in for Leonard. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Highland in for Paul George. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Harden. Softly drops in the floater. Oh, a silky floater by Harden. Making a tough shot look almost effortless. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Hardaway, the pass to Hardy. Hardaway against Powell. Just five to shoot. And Powell with the stuff. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in, but he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. And so it's the Mavericks taking care of business in this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Kyrie Irving.